Good morning, it's Nick Petro at the National Weather Service in Raleigh along with forecaster Mike Strickler. And the question that keeps coming up is tomorrow, April the 19th, Friday, April the 19th, gonna be just like April 16, 2011. Of course, there's a severe weather threat for tomorrow. So Mike, uh, can you uh, tell us what's the difference between tomorrow's severe weather threat and April 16, 2011? Will, be, will they be the same? Is it, do we have the same risk for severe weather tomorrow like we have for April 16, 2011? Sure, there are gonna be some similarities between uh, the two dates uh, in that we've got a very strong dynamic um, system approaching uh, with very strong wind fields through the depth of the atmosphere. But uh, April 16th of 2011, that's uh, a truly historic day for Central North Carolina and truly all of North Carolina. There were 30 confirmed tornadoes on that date, which is a, a record for the day in the state of North Carolina. So that is a benchmark, a truly historic day, one that um, uh, we may not see again in our lifetime. So to compare any event to what is the most historic tornado outbreak on record in North Carolina, um, it, you know, I just don't know that we're gonna see that. But again, there are some similarities in that it is a very strong system, a uh, very strongly sheared environment, uh, but uh, it's, it's unlikely to rival that that we experienced on April 16th of 2011, as will be the case with many future events. While very strong and uh, perhaps favorable outbreaks for tornadoes, uh, just not to the magnitude that we experienced uh, back in 2011. Okay, so, so Mike, real quick, what are the most likely severe weather impacts uh, that we're gonna see tomorrow? Sure, so it looks like we're gonna have widespread uh, strong wind gusts on the order of 40 to 50 miles an hour, and then embedded within that swath of uh, widespread wind gusts of that magnitude, we could see locally enhanced gusts on the order of 60 to perhaps 70 miles per hour, uh, as well as the risk for a few tornadoes uh, throughout Central North Carolina. The storms will be moving very quickly off to the northeast, so there's not gonna be a whole lot of time to prepare. Once a warning is issued, for example, they could be moving at 50 or 60 miles an hour, so they will be moving very, very quickly. Uh, and then we have another risk of flash flooding, uh, just as we saw on Sunday, uh, with these training of, of showers and storms and heavy precipitation rates on the order of one to perhaps even three inches per hour. Uh, even if it's only raining at your house, uh, for just an hour or two, then uh, certainly a quick two to three inches could add up and that could result in flash flooding just as we saw with this past Sunday. Okay, and the last question, uh, the last question, Mike, is uh, what time of the day on Friday should people be ready for these storms to move through? So very similar to this past event that we experienced on Sunday, uh, this could be a, a multi-round, multi-faceted multi uh, severe weather event such that we could have storms spreading into parts of uh, Central North Carolina even as early as 10 a.m. Uh, to noon uh, with the stronger activity likely holding off until a little bit later in the afternoon, uh, generally between about 11 a.m. and let's say 8 p.m. So a little bit of a wide window, but that's, that's there uh, to encompass this uh, potential for multi rounds of severe storms. And uh, frankly, you know, we're only 24 hours away or, or less so from, from event time at this point. Uh, there's still some uncertainty with this event. Uh, there's been a trend in the guidance for bringing uh, the stronger storms into our area a little bit more quickly, which will limit the degree to which we can destabilize tomorrow. And storms like that instability, so uh, there's, there's a risk they're gonna be moving into a, a less favorable environment with regard to the instability. We should have low clouds around uh, during the morning, which will limit some instability and the potential for those earlier day, more scattered showers and storms they too could limit instability. So there are some questions and mesoscale details that we need to work out uh, you know, as we get near the event, but certainly on the, on the larger scale, on the synoptic scale, uh, it is a very favorable environment for a severe weather outbreak. Okay, all right, there you have it. Uh, thank you so much, Mike, appreciate it. Uh, that's what uh, we're expecting right now for tomorrow, Friday, uh, April 19th. 2019. Thanks so much, Mike. Appreciate it. And uh, we've got a whole crew here at the National Weather Service in Raleigh keeping track of the weather. And of course, uh, you want to be prepared and make sure you have, have a way to receive severe weather warnings uh, tomorrow. Thanks so much.